This is the uh, seventh grade TCAP practice test for uh, math, question number 38. I'm not going to lie here. Um, I don't teach seventh grade math all the time. Um, in fact, I don't teach it in a classroom setting at all right now. Uh, so I did this question on my own. I always do them on my own before I show them to you guys because it would be pointless of me to make a video that doesn't have a good explanation, or at least a reasonable one. And uh, I missed it. So. If I can miss it, you can miss it too. I mean, I've been teaching math for, like, you know, forever, it seems like, but really not. But the reality is I only thought about it in very simple terms, and it's a little bit more complicated, but not very complicated. The question says, a rectangular painting has an area of 720 square inches. She reduced the width and length of the painting by a scale factor of 1 6 to create a miniature copy. What is the area of the miniature copy? Now, my problem was that I wasn't thinking. So I just did 720, and since they reduced it by 1 6th, I knew that means I needed to um, multiply by a 6th, so I multiplied by 1 6th, and I got 120, and I circled J. But unfortunately, that's not the right answer. And then I felt kind of ridiculous, like how am I supposed to teach this if I can't get it right myself? And I realized it was because I wasn't thinking the problem out completely. The question says the rectangular painting has an area of 720 square inches. And then she reduced the length and the width by a scale factor of 1 sixth. My problem was I was doing a one dimensional problem. But this is a 2D problem. Two, two dimensions better than one. Now it's not an awesome so I was doing one dimension. It's really two. It's not a cool like 3D thing. That's a whole other universe of problem. That would be volume. But in this case, I was only considering one dimension. So I did this times 1 sixth, when in reality, I should consider the length and the width by 1 sixth. Whereas when, if I was doing 3D, I'd have to consider the height as well. So all of this, it would make it way more complicated. But here I am in 2D land. So instead of multiplying 720 by 1 dimensional 1 sixth, I need to adjust scale factor for 1 sixth times 1 sixth, because it's length times width, right? So I do 1 sixth times 1 sixth, and that gives me 1 over 36, or 1 36th, which is really hard to say for me for some reason. So if you multiply out 720 times 136, and I can get it in my old calculator here to make sure that I can do it in my TI-30X, because that's what some of you are using, hopefully. And it gives me an answer of 20 square inches, or in a much cooler way, inches squared because this number represents the number of dimensions involved in the problem. Since it's a rectangle, it's two dimensions. So don't get stuck in a one-dimensional world like I did when it's really a two-dimensional scenario. And definitely don't do it if it's three dimensions because that's even better. So uh, that was my problem. Make sure you don't make the same mistake I did, and you'll get that question right on the test.